Hi guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Kit Gaming channel and today I am sharing with you a video that I actually recorded quite some time ago but actually forgot to upload. As you guys know from my guides, I've played through the prologue of this game countless times but it only occurred to me before at the time of recording this video about what happens if you try to leave Mount Tanner in state of decay before you get Maya, which in turn means before Thomas Ritter dies. So that's exactly what this video is. I decided to simply head to the usual exit of Mount Tanner without Thomas Ritter dying with him still alive along with Wendell Higgins and their other little friends in the ranger station. Just because, in my mind, I had epic ideas, I'm too imaginative for my own good, of getting a different game, an alternative state of decay world where Maya didn't appear and therefore our survivors were never able to properly liaise with Sergeant Tan and the army and of course an alternative world where Lily and Jacob's father didn't die, which in my opinion would have made the game much more personal and heartfelt. However, after getting to the area on the river where you usually climb out to end the prologue and head to the church, you'll notice that the layout is ever so slightly different, making it completely impossible to climb up on the ledges and out and progress into the main game world. So, sadly, it is impossible to get to the church without Thomas Ritter dying. Still, it was worth a try, and I'm sharing this with you guys just in case you two have ever wondered what happens if you try to leave Mount Tanner without going through the usual prologue events. This, as such, is a little Mythbuster video, I suppose. Another quick channel update, guys, as my last walkthrough project failed dismally due to bugs and glitches, I still do have plans for a full run-through of the game in a single sitting as soon as title update 3 hits. I will also be doing the same for sandbox mode. This is because I am determined to ensure that I do not run into any issues or glitches or bugs or teleporting or anything like that this time around. So thank you very much for your patience and for sticking with me. It's been an epic ride guys and I've st I'm still in love with State of Decay, I'm not going to lie. This is pretty much my favourite game right now and I'm still very much looking forward to sharing with you guys a full walkthrough. And I'm waiting for title update 3, I could start one today, but I don't want to run into any glitches or issues or anything. I'm waiting for title update 3, because we get new features in title update 3 as well. So, I was hoping it was going to be out today, but we haven't heard any news yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah guys, thank you very much for sticking with me, it's just a crying shame that this otherwise perfect game is hindered by so many bugs and flaws and glitches and such. I will also be sharing with you guys my updated pre-order list for games you can expect on the channel soon. And I'm not going to lie guys, it's pretty damn epic. So I'll keep an eye out for that. Now all of these suggestions in the pre-order catalogue that I'm going to be sharing with you are suggestions that you guys suggested to me that you want to see on the channel. I listen to you guys, I comment to you guys every day, I like getting in conversations and such, so please keep that going. I love the community that we've amassed here on the channel, it's much more about the community to me than sharing the videos and I'm just glad that you guys enjoy them so much and thank you so much for sending in so many epic suggestions that even I can't wait to play so yeah that's some good stuff check out uh, the pre-order list in another video I haven't decided which one yet guys but I will throw that catalogue out there as soon as it's finalised so that's all folks and I hope you've enjoyed this little myth busting video and channel update Wayne here for the Let's Play Get Gaming channel saying goodbye